Hi, I'm Jimmy Osmond. This is my brother Jay. How are you? And uh, we're the Osmond brothers, the original guys that started way, way back. It was Walt Disney that discovered Jay and my, my other three brothers. Long and time ago. Long time ago. Yeah. Jay's so old, he remembers when the Dead Sea was only oh, six. Yes. Oh, but yes. anyway, that old. you know, it was there that Walt Disney uh, put them on television, and Andy Williams saw my brothers, fell in love with them, put them on as regulars on his TV series, and I joined them shortly thereafter as his background singers. We sang on his, his music as well as, you know, we had our own hits as well. But that was 50 years ago for me, well, for my first 57 start. 57 years for me. That's yeah. a long time. But at a, you never, I never would have believed after all these years that I'd end up owning his theater and you know producing shows that I take around the world that feature his award-winning music as well as our hits. And uh, it's just interesting how yeah. life turns and twists and changes. But uh, well, here, it's so funny, you know, when we're doing the show, it just brings back so many memories because Andy turned the whole his whole vault uh, over to Jimmy. His well, no, whole it's, life. It's amazing that the yeah, archives the ar oh, that we have, and then we put in the shows. Not only the Christmas show, but this show called Moon River and Me, which is a show that he wanted to, to see happen that yeah. celebrates his award winning music and all of the people that he worked with, the old Hollywood people from Sinatra to you name it. And again, we worked with all of those amazing people. Right. And so to have that connectivity, yeah. Yeah. I think, is interesting for the audience when they well, come to see it. Especially when he, you know, he put his voice on before he died, he put his voice on live so that we could use his voice in the show. And yeah, so you always hear Andy so singing powerful. Moon River. At the end, it's, it's, it's yeah. amazing. But it's interesting, you know, people come to the theater and people of all ages, and especially people that remember his, his music as yeah. part of their lives, they leave so emotional remembering their lives when Andy was on the radio or we were having hits on the radio. And it's fun to be a part of that. We started this show last year as a morning show because there was no other slot available. We produce 400 shows a year here at the theater of big celebrity weekends to Christmas shows to The Letterman to Rick Thomas. You know, we have such a variety of people that come to Branson, so we yeah. produce that many shows. But Moon River and Me started as a uh, breakfast at Tiffany's uh, kind of a morning show just to test it and now this year we're just doing a, a small run of dates and then we take it to Europe we go we have 28 dates on sale there we're gonna go to Israel we're gonna go to Japan and also dates around the country because everyone loves Andy Williams he was famous all over the world yeah. all over Well, this is a tribute show, but not in like an impersonator tribute show. I mean, we're the real guys that, <laughs> that were there. And of course, to have that connectivity with yeah. Andy and tell the stories and sing the songs that we actually sang on uh, with Andy that were hits, uh, I think the audience loves that because we come by it honestly. Our legacy, the Osmonds legacy, grew out of Andy's legacy. I mean, he taught us how to produce shows. And, uh, and so, yeah, so I think when people come to this show, they can expect a tribute to the man and his music by the guys that were there with him. And uh, and also in our show we have some amazing... It's, inter it's interactive too because there's a clip where, where Andy sings and Jimmy sings with him. And it, back and forth. It's just amazing. Yeah. But the show isn't just about us or just Andy's music. Andy was the pioneer of variety television and he loved to discover new talent and uh, he loved comedy. And so we have two-time comedy magician of the year, Chipper Lowell, in the show that makes everybody laugh their heads off. <laughs> and then we also have Charlie Green who was oh, discovered by amazing. Simon Cowell. He has the smoothest voice you'll ever hear. He's just a young kid that... Said uh, Andy when he was younger. Yeah, and matter of fact, Andy's family was here not too long ago and they loved it. They said, that is just like Andy was at his age. <laughs> and so it's really yeah, kind of fun. It is cool. We're, and we're all friends, and I think people can see that charisma and that honesty and the realness of celebrating this great music. I mean, even if you're a kid and you've not heard these, you know, Love Story or, you know, The Days of Wine and Roses or any of these classics, you know, Born when you hear Charlie him. sing it, you know, you immediately fall in love not only with him, but with, with <laughs> the music. So it's kind of cool. Girls like him. My favorite part of the show, I think, is at the end when we sing Moon River, everybody sings along, and then we actually hear Andy singing it with us on stage. And I think that really evokes the emotion of who he was, what he accomplished in his life, and hopefully what we did for, for the people here um, on stage. And I think to see the culmination of, they laughed, they cried, they, they were excited about new talent, and they remembered what an amazing legacy Andy had. 
And to put all that together and see people give you a standing ovation, yeah. not us, but just the whole experience, yeah. is quite exciting, don't you think? I think? That's for me too, you know, it's like reliving the past in a way. It's like, you know, like Jimmy said, Andy was such a, the pioneer of introducing new talent. And when you get us all together, it's just like people feel entertained and Yeah, it's not just a feel good scene. show, it's a it's it's the real deal. Yeah. I mean, you know, so my favorite memory of Andy's of, of Andy Williams was uh, when I was uh, eight years old. I, we were doing this uh, uh, amazing tumbling thing, you know, we, we did every week we did something different on his show. I skated, yeah, they oh, did everything, played every instrument yeah. there was. But we were doing this like very technical thing, it was on a ledge, and I fell. And it was like the day before the taping, you know, it was like, it's, it's, it was called dress rehearsal. And then, and, and I fell and I, and I cut my head really bad, really over here. And he uh, killed the rehearsal, stopped there. He picked me up, he actually picked me up. He took me to his car and he took me to uh, the hospital and he sat there where they, uh, stitched yeah. him up. Yeah. So he had a great heart. He was, yeah. he was family he just, to us. But he you just, know? he just, everything went away. He just wanted to make sure I was okay. I think, you know, those things, Eight years old, you know. Yeah, the people really so, cared, yeah. you know. For me, it was the last time we worked with him. I produced a 50th anniversary special for public television. It was our 50th anniversary in show business, so we put our whole family back together. And as a surprise, yeah. I flew Andy in, and he walked out on stage with the audience there, and everybody just went crazy, and we all got emotional. And it, what was so special was afterwards when I got to interview him, about what he thought about each one of us. And that meant a lot to each one of us, didn't it? I mean, oh, he talked yeah. about, you know, how Jay would always follow the camera and, and people fell in love with him because of that. And my first appearance and each one Jimmy of our Jimmy literally grew up on his show. Yeah, but you know, I mean, to me, that was probably the most real memory that was also a professional memory because yeah, we yeah. worked with him that yeah. way. Well, you know, Andy was always the pioneer of variety television, and in every one of his shows, he would work with amazing, co you know, comedians. I mean, everyone from Sid Caesar to you name it, and uh, you know, Lucille Ball. Oh, I mean, you, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. So, Dick Van Dyke. I mean, yeah, producing crazy. these shows, of course, we want to follow that formula, that magic formula, and and we have this crazy guy. He's right oh. here. Should we bring him in? Chipper Lowell. And he Hello. is crazy, he, Hello. trust me. Hello. Hi. <laughs> the guy's nuts. And you know what's so fun about Chipper? Really he's two time nuts. comedy magician of the year, not just in Branson, but everywhere. <laughs> and you know, he's been on the WB, he's been on the Disney Channel. Tonight Show. He's been at Masters, Denny's. Masters of Illusion, Denny's. Denny's. Yeah. He loves Denny's. But he gets everybody just going, he, you know, laughing their heads he's off. He's funny, but looks aren't everything, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what do you, how do you feel about being in this show? Uh, well, it, it's like you had talked about. It's the tie-in. Um, he had so much variety and comedy on his show. Uh, the, the, well, the, his series lasts, what, 10 years? More, more oh, than yeah. 10 years. Well, tons plus of plus all well. the specials. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and I grew up watching him and uh, was lucky enough to see him later when I was an adult. And, uh, but he had people on that I admired, Jonathan Winters and oh, Dick yeah. Van Dyke. Um, and, uh, you know, you, and to have that feel of what, I mean, he had a great sense of humor. Yeah. Well, I, I don't think a lot of people realize how funny Andy was know, in addition yeah. to being yeah. an amazing singer. And you had mentioned it before and uh, about the show. This really is like from the heart. It's like a love letter. It's it's it, we're so we're so connected to uh, you know continuing on his legacy and uh, people people have been loving the show. We've, and it's been uh, it's been great since last year and this year. And now we're doing evening performances. And like you mentioned, we're 
touring and all that good yeah. stuff. So. And what's really fun is Chipper involves the audience, and it's, they always love to <laughs> laugh at themselves or, or their husband or wife or whatever. And he gets them on he stage. He makes sure that they do. And oh, it's hilarious what he does. It's fun, fun, fun. But you know, not only do we have Chipper, of course, to That's make right. everybody have a little levity, and of course, we have the songs that everyone fell in love with with Andy, but we have Charlie Green, which oh, is an amazing. amazing guy. He's right there. Can we introduce Charlie? Come here, Charlie, Charles. come on in here, buddy. Hey. This is Charlie Green. He started as young as we did in showbiz when he was, what, not, how old are you, nine? Uh, yeah. He was nine on Britain's Got Talent. And it was Simon, Simon Cowell that first discovered him. Yeah. And then he, he uh, grew up and all the girls like him, so that's quite good. <laughs> and he has a smooth voice, but don't tell him because we don't want him to get conceited. You know? right. He's right. so good. You having fun doing the show? <laughs> I'm having so much fun doing the show. And um, it's just great to be working with these guys. Um, they're so good at what they do and you just, you know, I think it rubs off on you. Yeah, well, you first fell in love with Andy's music when, how, how old were you? Your dad yeah, was, was a singer. Oh, my dad was a singer and he would play his music in the car and uh, we have about five or ten Andy Williams vinyl records and the first song I ever heard was Moon River and I was just completely spellbound by his voice and it was just, you know, incredible. <laughs> and you sound and, just like him, that's the yeah, amazing Yeah, that's what's part. scary is he sounds like yeah. it. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. <laughs> but we, we tour the world together, and when, when we're done here, we go to Europe, and, and of course, everybody knows Charlie in the UK as well, so it's quite fun to see all the girls swoon over him. Like they, they used to at us, but anyway, yeah. those days are over. I, I get no swooning. Yeah. I'm not a swooning. They just throw things. They throw right? things. They throw things. Yeah. But we're having a great time, and we hope people will come and celebrate the amazing award-winning music and style of, of production that Andy was so well known for. And we're trying to recreate that, keep that going, and so far pretty good, huh? Yeah. Oh my goodness, yeah. yeah. The, the response has been, uh, we knew it would be a, a great response, it's even bigger than that, and we're, we're loving it. And the, the, what's great is to talk to people out in the lobby, because they want to hang around, they want to talk, sure. they want to tell us about their memories of Andy and, and what Andy meant to them, and uh, it's great. Well, I like the, the title of the show, Moon River and Me, and how it relates to you. Yes. And how these uh, all these people, they re, it relates to them. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, they grew it really up should be Moon River and We. And We. And, we, and, we, and yeah. us. And, and no. us. That's true. <laughs> anyway, we hope you'll come see us. We're, we're having a blast. We don't have many shows left this no, season. Just a couple more. But we'll always be back because this is our theater. And again, our, our charge was from Andy himself, as well as his family, is to uh, continue uh, the legacy that he started here. And he loved Branson. He loved the locals, and uh, we love it when they all come and support all the shows and the big names that we have. Uh, the current artists, like we just had Jennifer Nettles, we, we had Leanne Rhymes, Rhymes. Mm -hmm. Ray yeah. Stevens is next. I mean, the list goes on and on. Everybody wants to play at Andy's. So we're having a blast performing and presenting Andy Williams' Moon River and Me at the Andy Williams Performing Arts Center. And you can get your tickets at choosebranson.com. And uh, we don't have many shows left. Just a couple. But we have a lot of shows here at the theater that we're all involved with producing and presenting. Great headliners. Great headliners. Bill Ingvall, Bill Ingvall. Leanne Rhymes, Jennifer Jeff Nettles. Dunham. Nettles. Uh, Jennifer Nettles. Yeah. Jennifer Nettles. Uh, well, Air Supply. Ray I mean, Stevens. you name it, just check it out. There's, <laughs> there's about 400 shows a year that we present here. So we hope you'll come in. And Andy, when he built this place, he did it right. Oh, I mean, this is the theater you would expect in New York or Las Vegas. And it's right here where he loved, right in the heart of America, here in Branson, Missouri. So, so come see us uh, and come celebrate Andy's life and legacy with Andy Williams, Moon River, and me.